go back to box plots a little bit more. Talk a little bit more about what box what box plots or box and whisker plots can show us. One of the reasons that I really like box plots is that if you have two data sets that you're trying to compare, you can really see the shape of the distributions and you can see what's going on with box plots. Here, there's a number of different things that I can see. I can tell that the median for this box plot, this data set on the top, is a lot less than the median for the box plot of the data set on the bottom. I can tell that the data set on top is more spread out than the data set on bottom by looking at the range. I can tell that um, most of the data, which is in the box, the, uh, most of the data for the bottom set is going to be higher than most of the data or the center of the data for the, the data set that's on the top. There's a lot of things. I can see that the range or the maximum is a lot higher for the data set on the top than on the bottom. And maybe we're comparing to, maybe we're comparing males to females. Maybe we're comparing seniors to juniors or whatever it might be. The box plots are really nice because you can use them to make comparisons between two data sets. And I love that about box plots by looking at the shape of them. Now the other thing that is nice about box plots is that you can use box plots to help you describe the shape of a distribution, whether it's bell-shaped, normal-shaped, or um, it could be skewed left or skewed right. So I definitely have two different shapes here. If I look at the data set that's on the top and the box plot that is, that is uh, describing or displaying that data, I can see that my median is shifted toward one side of my box, and I can also see that this tail or this whisker is a lot shorter than this whisker over here. So if I have a long whisker on one side or the other, and I have a median that is shifted a little bit closer to the shorter whisker, then I can say that this is skewed in one direction or the other. In this case, this whisker is on the right, so in the same way that when I look at a histogram, and the tail is on the right, if the whisker is on the right, this would be skewed right or skewed to the right. Okay. Now if this was flip-flopped and I took all of this and it was flipped the other direction, so let's say I combine all of this, group it, and this was flipped in the other direction, no longer would this be skewed right. This distribution would be skewed left because the median is closer to the shorter whisker and the long whisker is on the left hand side so that would be skewed left. Well, what about this one down here? You can notice that my whiskers are almost the same length. They're not exactly the same but they're almost the same and my median is in the middle of the box. So in this case I can see that this would be bell-shaped, or I could say that it is normal-shaped. <clears throat> and if this was more spread out, say group this together, and I manip manipulate this picture a little bit, and it was even more spread out like this. It's okay. The whiskers are still the same, sh about the same size, and the median is in the middle, so it is still, this picture, this box plot tells me that this distribution is bell-shaped and normal. So the box plots can be used to make comparisons, and the box plots can also be used to help describe the shape of a distribution.